What's up everybody? Welcome to a Greg Way. Of course you know this show every Wednesday and Friday I take one of your YouTube comments or tweets to me and have a conversation with you about it. So make sure you're commenting down there and talking to me. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, today's stuff comes from at Merck074. Uh, he asks, who would be my cast in an Invincible movie? If I had unlimited money and they were, gave me the script to make Robert Kirkman's Invincible, one of the best superhero comic books out. You have to go read it, please go read it. And uh, stick with it, because it starts and you're just like, oh, it's just a superhero comic, and then it gets awesome, it just gets awesome. It's been going on forever now, over 100 issues. Congratulations. Um, what would my cast look like? So I wrote some of it down here, I jotted it down, right? We gotta start with the first, Mark Grayson, Invincible himself, right? Zac Efron, stick with me. I like Zac Efron, good looking kid, Funny kid, he's got that new movie coming out. I've already forgot its name. You know what I'm talking about, Nick? It's it's uh, him trying to get laid with his friends or whatever, and then they all fall in love. But he's funny. I think he's funny. He's good looking. I think he has the face and the hair to be Mark Grayson. Definitely the body. That kid's got some abs, if you know what I'm saying. Zac Efron, my choice for Mark Grayson. I think he could lead the picture, bring in, you know, he he'd bring the humor to the role, and then also just that primal rage. Mark has. Then of course we got to worry about Mark's dad, Omni Man. He's like, you know he's like their universe is Superman. Mark's like. Superman's son, his name's Invincible. Anyways, Omni-Man, who else but the one and only Tom Selleck. Right, it makes sense, right? If you watch, if you read Invincible, you know that Omni-Man is of course defined by that awesome mustache, right? And we all know Tom Selleck has an awesome mustache. But uh, Tom Selleck, he's also a big dude, he's a bulky dude. You could see him being an older version of a superhero, right, a Superman. That's what we need here for the father figure. We need Tom Selleck, ladies and gentlemen for the Invincible movie. Thank you for your blank chat, Robert Kirkman. I'm making you quite the film here. Up next, who's gonna be Eve? Adam Eve, Mark's love interest, of course. Um, I gotta go Emma Stone here. I know Emma Stone's in Spider-Man already. I know she's blonde right now, but Adam Eve is this, you know, fun, uh, smart, sexy redhead, right? Emma Stone would nail that. She'd knock it out of the park. Cause I'm not even thinking about her Spider-Man work so much as Easy A. Did you see Easy A? That movie was awesome. That was funny and cool and she was she was like awesome in it. She take that high school vibe and put it to Adam Eve, who's a superhero, and have her run around with uh, Zac Efron as invincible. That's a hell of a cast right there. That is a hell of a cast. All right, so far. Let's see if I can keep it going. I think so. Mark's mom, right? Mark's mom plays a pretty big role in all this. She's just a normal old human, though. She's, she doesn't have anything special going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a big old callback to some one of the best superhero television shows of all time. I want Terry Hatcher for this part. I want Terry Hatcher out there. Terry Hatcher and Tom Selleck then having a beautiful child in Zac Efron. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, ladies and gentlemen. We're thinking about bone structure, and we're thinking about just is this a believable cast of family for the Graysons? Yeah, totally. Next, Cecil. Now, I know Cecil comes into play a bit later if you're if you're up on the Invincible story. I'm gonna try to combine a, a lot of things going on here, right? I, I want Cecil, who of course is in charge of the Pentagon, he's in charge of basically the government. He's gonna be the dude who gives the marching orders to Omni-Man and Invincible for most of the movie. Uh, I'm gonna have Steve Buscemi play him. Steve Buscemi does such a great, hey, I'm just a wiry guy, but then it turns out he's the most powerful dude in the world. We, we, you gotta love him in Boardwalk Empire now, right? I mean, just imagine, him taking that kind of character to the present and having all sorts of teleporting technology and destroying the earth or trying to protect it, whatever his current goal is, right? It'd be worthwhile. And then my final one here is Rexplode. He's not really that needed. Maybe for the first movie, I'm sure this is like everything else is a trilogy, right? The, for the first Invincible movie, I think Rexplode needs to have at least some kind of thing in there. And when I read Rexplode, right, like he's a goofy, yeah. He's a douchebag, we know that. If you know the stories, you know he's a douchebag. So you need somebody who can play a douchey character well. This is gonna be a divisive choice, but I'm going Channing Tatum. I know Channing is too big to be Rexplode. When you think Rexplode, you don't think of the hulking mass that is Channing Tatum. But, in the way I use him in my movie and in my script, I think it would make sense to have like a big dude being Rexplode who's kind of like college age, right? Who's like yoked as all hell and just out there doing his thing, being a superhero, being a douchebag. I think he could play it really well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my casting for the Invincible movie, which doesn't exist. God knows why they haven't made it, why there isn't an Invincible video game, why there isn't an Invincible cartoon. I am, I, Robert Kirkman has all this money now, right? He's obsessed with The Walking Dead. Let's pour some of it into Invincible. I'm begging you. I want to know though, this is a conversation between us. What 
do you want from an Invincible movie? Who would you cast in an Invincible movie? Why do you read Invincible? Let me know in the comments. Then make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Until the next day, have a great way. You like that? No? I'm getting? There was some... Mm. 50%. All right.